Rhubarb stood for a moment on the doorstep. It was Monday. Mouse, rodent scholar and computer expert, should have been here by now. Where is that mouse? muttered Rhubarb. It was a very blank day. Miserable. Morning, Custard. Blank. Nothing. Morning, birds. Blank. It was blank, horrible Monday. Nothing was going on. Mouse wasn't at the shed. On Mouse's desk, there was a blank piece of paper. No writing, nothing. Rhubarb stared blankly at the page. Mouse hadn't even started today's project. What is going on, thought Rhubarb, and punched Mouse's number into his bone fur. Nothing. Blank. Usually, the computer had turned itself on by now. Nothing. Blank. Something was wrong. What could it be? This is a blank day, a nothing kind of day, Rhubarb thought to himself in a vacant kind of way. And then the light went on. Ah, oh, what a perfectly boring day to try out my new laughter pods. Add a bit of merriment to the garden, make everybody giggle, he chortled. And as Rhubarb tapped the action key, the roof hatches yawned open. Creaking and groaning, Rhubarb's sticky beak camera finally focused onto a hot spot, the unmistakable mugshot of custard. Bored stiff and with a perfectly perfect blank look. Ah, yes, Rhubarb sniffed. Tedious, dreary and dull. Custard doing nothing. The ideal starting place for my fun-filled experiment. And now for Poodle Princess and Moggy Malone. Let's see what bland lives they are leading, chuckled Rhubarb in a nosy kind of way. Yes, more bland, boring stuff, a classic, more nothing. Poodle Princess was being bored silly, listening to a supermarket story. Moggy was bored rigid, telling it. It was so boring, I just had to tell you, boring isn't the word. Oh, that really was profoundly boring. Oh, you poor darling. That sounds really desperately boring. Cor, what a perfectly blank day for my experiment, Rhubarb repeated in a not wanting to seem like a parrot kind of way, when suddenly a clown appeared, grinning at him from inside the computer. The laughter pods have completed clown loading. My laughter program is ready. I will be known as the dog who broke the blank on Monday morning. Rhubarb shuddered as Mouse, rodent scholar, arrived. Phew, sorry, I had a f phone call from Silicon Valley. Had to... Ah, oh, what's this? Smiled Mouse. So it works. Even you are smiling, beamed Rhubarb, and explained all about the blank day and how he'd clown-loaded the laughter pods and how he planned to... Oh, I say, said Mouse. The dog who broke the blank. <laughs> exactly, beamed Rhubarb. And they sat in front of the computer and began the merrymaking. I think we'll experiment on custard first, chuckled Rhubarb, and twinked the laughter spring. The first twang launched a computer-guided laughter pod directly at custard. Bullseye, <laughs> right on the conch. Perfect. Within seconds of the chuckle dust exploding, Custard was chortling madly and guffawing and carrying on up and down the fence. As Rhubarb looked at Mouse, the advanced happiness and laughter program kicked in and began broadcasting outrageously silly music over the garden. That's when things really began to change. Another laughter pod reached its target. Moggy Malone this time. <laughs> Poodle Princess got the laughter treatment too. <laughs> As the silly music got louder, Rookie looked over from the old conquer tree with a blank stare. Can't have that, chuckled Rhubarb. <laughs> Rookie was instantly in the lectures. Mo did too. <laughs> Postdoc turned up and a laughter pod was delivered. First Whoa. class, right in the ground. <laughs> Birds were cheered up next. <laughs> The day was turning into a festival of laughter. The music got louder. Rhubarb and Mouse were congratulating themselves when suddenly they noticed the music changed tune ever so slightly. Oh, it's nothing, said Mouse, when suddenly 
completely changed again. And the laughter pod catapult went completely berserk, spraying pods <laughs> everywhere. Pudding <laughs> Princess, Moggy Balloon, the birds and all the other garden animals were bent double with laughter. And then it happened. <laughs> <laughs> They're all in tears, said Rhubarb. They're not laughing, they're, they're in tears. You're right, said Mouse. I told you it would all end in tears. I'll tell him a joke, said Rhubarb. I say, I say, I say. Have you heard the one about the... Rhubarb began, but nobody listened. Everyone was awash in tears. A dog walks into the kennel cafe. He said, do you serve cats? Oh, no. Not the do-you-serve-cats joke, Mouse groaned when he realised that Custard was standing next to him. Surely it can't get any worse. Want a bet? Grinned Custard. You are not a real clown till you have copped a custard pie from point-blank range, said Custard. <laughs> and the laughter was death. <laughs> Whiz, the home of ABCs, 1s through 3s, and all your favourite kids' TV characters. Now let's find kids' TV. Or I can press this microphone. Whiz, that's how easy it is.